Okay, we're back um, testing this Milan antenna. This is the VHF uh, Slim Duck. Uh, tuned for 150 or 155, I cannot remember, but um, this is a good antenna. Uh, right now we're on uh, MURS or MERS channel 1 doing low power. That's 151820. And uh, I just calibrated in the SWR meter, so we don't have to watch me try to have four hands, but. Um, this is the SWR on MURS channel 1. Look at that. 1.1 1 .1 to 1. Uh, pretty much perfect. Pretty much a perfect uh, match for that antenna. So let's go to uh, 154.6. MERS channel 5. Oops. Point seven. See, it was moving around a bit because I didn't have my hand on the uh, ground there. Um, again, it kind of illustrates how important it is. Um, I didn't mean to punch that in. To um, you know, basically have a ground plane uh, with these handheld radios. So let's go to one five nine nine zero zero. Just for fun, calibrating the SWR. Let's see if we can get something decent here. See, no, there's no ground plane. I didn't mean to hold anything. Wow, so we're out of out of band. Yep, that's a three to one. That's not good. All right, let's go down to two meters. Wow, the needle's not even moving, and that's at uh, 146550, so uh, this antenna does 2 meters and uh, the MERS channels really well, uh, especially the uh, 151 megahertz one, so, yep, that's it without a ground plane at all, it's just sitting on the table. Uh, that is very impressive, especially when you compare it to these other antennas here. Um, the blade antenna, nah, um, you know, this one kind of gave what amounted to unacceptable service. Um, I'm going to try the Baofeng stock. This is a stock Baofeng. Which allegedly does. Thirty-six to one seventy-four and four hundred to five twenty. So let's uh, just punch in, you know, something like one fifty one eight two zero. And um, turn my monitor radius back on here. Okay. All right. Get a little side by side with this. And we'll park them both on FRS1. Actually, what we can do is park them both on uh, 4568125 because we know that there's business activity on here. And if you guys have a good eye, you'll notice there's some differences between these radios, and it's not just the font on these buttons. Uh, on this one, this is one of the first UV5Rs um, that I got anyway. If you type in, say, 4, 5, 6, 8, 1, 2, 
Notice how it drops you on 456.810, not 456.8125. So you actually have to go up 2.5 kilohertz. So we do say 46666. It takes me to 466665. So it does it to three decimal points. Whereas this guy, I want to go to 456.8125. 